Hello Python students, we're going to continue our discussion of Unit 1, Module 4, Project. So remember yesterday when we left off, I had posed this question to you. How can we fix this section of code so that the program will do what we want it to do by allowing the user to quit and also not accept an empty input in as a phrase for us to pass to our STR analysis function? So remember, if we run this and we type in anything that works, remember, if we keep it empty, it asks us again because that's what we ask it to do. But if we type in anything that's not a queue, like if I type in an integer, it just keeps repeating that. One, two, three is a big number. And so we don't want this infinite loop. We want to be able to fix that so that it does both of the feet has both of the features in the program. So hopefully you've had time to think about it. Uh, one possible solution is, is we can make a compound condition in our outside while loop. And so we have to kind of think about this for a second. So remember, phrase uh, can be multiple things that they could type in. So we probably want to use an or. And we want to keep going if it is um, an empty string and if that is the case then we want to ask them for input and then as soon as they enter oops spelled phrase wrong fix that as soon as they enter their input not only are we going to check to see if it's a queue or not a queue but we also want to check and see if it's empty. Because if it's empty, then we just want to continue. So hopefully you remember the continue clause just sends the code back from this line back to the beginning of the loop. So now if we run the program, And let me maximize this. So now if I enter 1, 2, 3, it's going to tell us 1, 2, 3 is a big number. And then now it says, hey, you want to do it again? So if I enter something that is not all alphabetic or not an integer, get our multiple character types. If I enter a word, it's all alphabetic. And so it appears, and if I enter Q, it quits. Uh, one thing we could do to make this a little neater is we could put a blank line under each of these so that that way uh, we have a little uh, separation in our output. All right, I hope this helps and uh, look forward to seeing everybody in the future. Thank you.